Boa noite a todos. Welcome back to Tom Plays Europe Universe Alice 4 for Absolute Beginners. We are back with Portugal, converting people, right, left, and centre. Oh boy. <laughs> and there we instantly go. Right, sure, sure, I will help the Commonwealth against Russia. I will seriously regret this because, of course, I have armies over here. And I wish I can in theory attack, but never mind. So what I was going to say was while we're gearing up to attacking France and desperately trying to improve our manpower. Don't catch a break with these pirates, they keep showing up. The main point of attacking France really is to give us more power in the colonies for any time in which Spain becomes an enemy. So what I was wondering was whether it would be worth trying to get one of our colonies to attack one of the smaller nations in order to achieve the same thing okay, that's part of Britain of course we don't currently have any diplomats so we can put that on hold for a bit but yeah there are still some of the First Nations there, whom we could attempt to take land from, and I'm guessing our colonies don't have the same hits to their manpower that we do. But we'll wait to get a diplomat back first. In the meantime, I'm assuming Russia is not going to be in a good position to actually attack us. So our only real war with Russia is going to be over in the east, where hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, and they won't send a bunch of troops, but we will see. In any event, it's probably worth us supporting the Commonwealth as best we can. And here come our diplomats. So, obviously I'm a bit worried that our troops are on the plus side. We can always make more once we have manpower again. So it's not the end of the world if Russia sends some enormous army over to crush us. However, in the meantime, and especially seeing as we are at war anyway, let's see if there's anything we can do to expand down here. Okay, so there are a number of Nations, this is probably an obvious one. Allied with Iroquois, well that's fine. Can we do imperialism? We can, the Iroquois are not going to join in, so they're a good one to just attack. So I'm just assuming that Lavrador will be able to take them down themselves. I don't think there's anyone left down here. There's obviously Cusco, but we don't share a land border with them, however there are a few nations down here as well. Which in theory, we could also attack. allies. Apparently they all have a bunch of allies. Let's just go for it. I think you guys can manage that one. And I will leave it with you. I will concentrate on Russia and hopefully all three wars will finish in a reasonable time. So we should be able to keep an eye on each of the wars down here. Thankfully the Russian one seems to be going well, so maybe the Commonwealth will wrap it up without us 
having to do any actual fighting. In effect, we're mostly just helping by distracting Russia's attention slightly and taking her lands on the extreme east where the Commonwealth can't reach. Okay, that's worrying. Still, leave it with them. Oh boy. Okay, suddenly I'm far less keen. Any chance we can make peace? Ooh. Yes, please. Obviously, the Commonwealth isn't going to be delighted that we've... Uh, do we need a conquistador? Maybe not right now. That we kind of run out on them. End of the game. Yeah, go for it. Might come in handy, you never know. Not sure which one of these colonies is active. That oh, must be this one. That's good then, so we're going to the right place. So we're going back to defending colonies. Unfortunately, we have pulled out of the Commonwealth War a little early there. But we did have a massive Russian army heading towards us, so. However much they might blame us. I think we have some excuse. Seriously guys, you're literally fighting a one province nation here. Get your act together and get in there. Taxes or inflation? I'll take the inflation. I don't really like corruption. Right, okay, well I'm not in a position to help even if I want to, so... Privileges, that would give us two base tax and go for it. The only concern is with Crown Land. If we start having too little, we'll get a bunch of malices. But we've got an awful lot of Crown Land to be fair, so we'll probably be fine. Speaking of. Lower the time a little. We should call it another diet. It's generally a good idea. So, what do we have? They want a house of worship, that's nice and easy. Want army training and recruitment centers, again, quite easy. And the burgers want Tanzania. Tanzania. And we might be going to do that anyway. It's going to help enormously if they didn't put these right on top of us, at the middle of the screen. Any province in the Tanzania area. I think we can do that and it will help with our settlers, so let's go with that. We should be in control of it this time. Maybe we have an areas. Vuma Gonde. And gone. Get myself confused. Where's Tanzania? <laughs> there we are. Here's Tanzania, right? So we need to move our colonizing up here, which is fine. So if we move back to political, right, so we want to get these areas next, which is good. We can control this, we've nearly finished this one, so we're just going to temporarily miss this one out and head up here. Not a problem. Who is still exiled? I managed to get rid of you. Actually, to be fair, it's probably just these armies, yeah. Inevitably. Okay, brilliant. So they're in the right position for defending their colonies. That's good. So we're literally just waiting for these guys to succeed. Right, so I think we've taken this area, so hopefully we can annex them. Yep, that 
will do fine. Unfortunately, they won't allow us to do it. They won't accept. That's entirely up to them, I suppose. Seed Yaki. Oh, there they So we don't necessarily want to make peace with them just yet. Okay, well, let's start here. Well, this is indeed a province in Tanzania, so it may actually fulfill that diet requirement by itself, which would be great because it will make us get settlers faster. It's definitely something that we want. Let's check in where we're up to. We're about to do industrialization industrialization is kind of a new one and I'm not totally sure if there are things I should be doing to improve our chances of starting it that is certainly something I should be looking at Well, for some reason the war against the Cree isn't going well, although I think it might just be until this castle falls. So not too worried. Okay, our agent has been discovered. Some of our diplomats finished. We've got a new Pope. So we should put a bit towards getting the next Pope and also don't want to do Holy War because I think the war's about to end. Grant indulgence for sins. To be fair, that might be worth it because we're only on legitimacy 90. So rather than get even more money. Okay, our spy over here has just been caught so we need to do any last minute claim fabrications. So... I'll go a bit inland for this one, maybe. Oh, do we want to, or do we want to keep going down the coast? I just worry about it being harder to defend if it's all a long, narrow strip. So I might go inland a little. So maybe do this one as well. Nope, we can't. Maldives! Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. I might want the Maldives, actually. Obviously, it's yet another place we'll need to defend, but... It might give us a jumping-off point for attacking these guys. What are you offering? A seed Pina. Please do. That's what we want. <laughs> okay, so we should be able to annex the Kree now. Horrible though this is, it's going to put us in a better position for fighting Spain later. Demand the full annexation. Hopefully our nations will not have any issues. <coughs> making them a part of themselves and keeping them. Because they are quite small. So yeah, that's quite useful actually. Oh. 100% alright so I think we attacked Yaki so we'll uh, take the Apache first and then finally make a peace with Yaki and there we go so Portuguese California and Portuguese Mexico lose a bit of liberty desire that's a very weird border of powers, I think that gives us a new idea and it looks like it ought to be military. I mean admittedly we're a lot closer to getting a new military idea. Oh no, wait, sorry I'm thinking this the wrong way around. No, it ought to be one of these two. So either administrative or diplomatic because we're much further ahead with these. We need our military technology to catch up. 
So, no, not to worry. Just realise we actually have administrative ideas. Fair enough. <laughs> I think I was saying last time that would have made things a little um, cheaper. Right, so we definitely don't need economic or trade ideas because they're to do with getting more money and, you know, yeah, don't need more money. So that's those out. We're not going for a military idea anyway at this point, so we can cut those out completely. So, influence <coughs> ideas. Oh, cool. I'm happy about that. I don't think innovative ideas is worth it at this stage in the game. Don't like espionage, maritime is useless, and influence ideas might be useful. Religious and humanist could both be useful as well. So basically, religious will help us to get everyone over to our religion. So it'll allow us to sort all this out faster and get rid of our unrest penalties. Hmm. On the other hand, humanist would allow us to be a bit more nice and would probably sort it out much faster. So in a lot of ways, humanist is a much better idea. Influence can be useful, we don't really have much in the way of vassals, I don't think colonial nations count, but we do get less liberty desire. Nonetheless, I think I'd say humanist is probably our best bet. We get a lot less unrest, we'll probably have to deal with many less uprisings and things and just generally do a lot better. Plus we'll be seen as good guys, which is good for diplomacy. So let's go with that. That's sort of moving, <laughs> really embracing the spirit of the 18th century here. Becoming nicer. Human rights and all that. Okay. Right, so we've still got zero manpower. <laughs> so it's all going really well. It's just speed time up. Okay, what have we got? South Sulawesi Claim on Bhutan, I think we should go for that I'm not going to like it and I'm not sure if I'm going to lose it The hit to prestige that we would get if we didn't go for it Majapa hit, so is that West Africa or is that my imagination? I think it was my imagination. Although I'm quite interested to know who this is. And whether we could vassalise them. Okay. We have key. Where is this Bhutan place that we apparently have a claim to? Right. There you go, got my geography completely wrong, so apologies to that. So it looks like even though we have a claim, they're currently occupied by Great Britain, so they're probably not going to be that easy to grab. Although the claim might come in useful because Britain may need to be our target after France. Cool, military tech improving, which is good. Malacan separatists. Right, that is almost certainly going to happen. Do we have anyone there? We do not. So this is what happens when it takes far too long for us to get our manpower back. So we can take France. I'm going to grab this army here. Give 
our better general. Then we'll take as many of them as we can. I'm grabbing this one because I think they're already injured. So they're going to get injured a little more. But hopefully the manpower's still going in the right direction, overall. That's fine, that's fine. It is one of the problems with having a massive and diverse empire is that you do get alerts all over the show. Right, so we're expecting uprisings in Malacca. I think maybe this is the easiest place to get to. Oh, okay, maybe that. Check where the uprisings are likely to happen. Anywhere, literally anywhere. Fair enough. Hmm. Hopefully Lavrador's going to put this one down. Still one of the last big ones, I think, so hopefully. And I suppose it gives us something to do while we're waiting for the manpower to recover. There, we finally got some manpower. I think that's partly because the only army that's damaged is currently in the boat and taking damage. So the manpower is sort of recovering, but they will use it up once they land. Which is fine, let's just check these diplomats. None of these are particularly bad, I have to say. So maybe it would be better to... I know, just suck up to a few random territories. You never know, it might come in useful one day. So one thing about the Holy Roman Empire, there are always plenty of people that one can improve relations with. There, just to keep them busy. It's, it's just if you don't use your diplomats, you're literally just wasting them. Doesn't cost us anything. Spare no expense, as always. Another uprising. Okay. <laughs> Where's that ship? Unfortunately, they are rather outnumbered still. Um, let's head there. Okay, so we want this one next. No, we don't, because Russia is already colonising them. Okay, that's throwing me. I'm not sure how they're managing to colonise them. Perhaps they have colonies here? Okay. In that case, we'll move back to this one. Yep, no problem. So it looks like Russia is going to show up here and here, which is interesting because that gives us a pretty long border with them. And we're just hopefully going to go around them up here. Can't be helped. Okay, so these guys should be recovering. I'm moving them into a position next door so that we can be on the defensive when they move. The problem is, having taken it, it increases separatism. Whoa! Which means they're more likely to have an uprising later. Right, let's let's do this. I think we've caught up in numbers now. We've got a better general. They'll be defensive, but I think we'll still win. Still, hopefully, as we gain humanist ideas, the uprisings will become less likely as well. 
maybe with more diplomatic tech we could even promote the culture which would also help okay, so I'm gonna take a risk and take these people back to France I'm sure we'll have an uprising at some point not to France to you know <laughs> Portugal as in the original Portugal actually another thing we could do is boost our stability well that would be better when we have an advisor that makes the cost less but anyway back to Lisboa and while thinking about it let's upgrade our few castles because we can now get a full fortress so this is literally just so that we can rely on these castles I'm gonna make sure they're as good as they can be I suppose we could consider building some in other areas just to help us maintain control on the other hand we haven't really needed too much so I'm not sure I see any need Peasants are generally fine, they're just on their way to fight against their own country. Good to see Britain hates us. Uh, California, not sure if we've taxed them actually, I might risk it. Even though it's probably pointless because we've got far too much money already. Got some claims, that's fine. As long as we've still got claims on France, that's what matters. Oh boy, didn't want this. Intercolonial trade. Right, so this is interesting. What we're going to go for is their interests are ours. Majapahit. Um, that's fine. I don't mind that. I'm not going to do anything to actually help them, but possibly Australia will. Everyone seems to have it. Great Britain attacking them, and didn't we have a claim? A bit harsh. So hopefully we're going to watch this go up. Alright, here we are. So they're attacking Malacca. Got quite a big army, actually. That's a bit annoying. So, I mean, not to be harsh, but I don't really need Malacca, so... Might still see if I can pull out really early. No, I can't. No, fair enough. Just going to have to trust Spain to win this one, I suppose. And if not, hope that Australia comes to rescue... The land, that's a little annoying. I didn't realise how vulnerable we were to attack there. But anyway, right, humanist ideas. So our religious unity should be straight up to full. In fact, higher than full. So that's pretty good. So even though we're still going to carry on converting people, we no longer really need to in the same way. And a lot of these controlled by Majapahit things, unfortunately. In fact, Spain may end up regretting asking us to join. Simply because... It's going to make their war score worse. <laughs> Although, of course, once they've taken all our territories, there isn't going to be a lot else they can do. Ooh. 
Portuguese Brazil has landed. Oh, that's good. At least we're fighting back a bit. But yeah, I'm not bringing the army back for this one. This is really Spain's problem, not ours. Ooh. Okay, that's unfortunate. Settle towns in the oh brilliant, so we've got our extra settlers and things. Right, so we've got some separatists here. Oh boy, it looks like they're actually attacking Spain, so that's good. Right, so Okay, well I might actually start trying to colonise around here on the grounds that it's really up here that we want to conquer Mogadishu, so we might be able to bypass Kilwa altogether. Because I was thinking we'd get Kilwa first in order to make sure we were one, you know, long cohesive country. But in actual fact we could still be one long cohesive country. So as long as our mission tree doesn't actually require these provinces, we could just leave Kilwa in peace now. Unless they're allies, which they may be. They were before. But we'll see. Uh, seeing as uh, we have the option as to where to colonise, we may as well go there. So, make states as always. Core provinces as always. So I don't think we have a stability cost advisor. If we've got prestige, we have. So, I won't boost stability just yet, because we don't really need to. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if Spain were actually planning on doing anything in this particular war. <laughs> Surely they didn't think we were going to conquer these people for them, did they? That's kind of cool. I'm not totally sure, but that battle we just won may well have been one of our trade ships which are no longer hiding during war. Seems the pirates up here are the constantly pirating around. I don't know how many times you kill them. So here we got Portuguese, Brazil and Caribus. So I'm not entirely happy about having all the uh, colonial nations taking damage as well. Pleased though I am that they're defending us. Still, we've got our own manpower to worry about. Might need to make some more ships, actually. Speaking of, where's the... Oh, of course the Pacific Fleet's the one currently dealing with pirates, isn't it? Fair enough then. However, for the battle against France, we do want a lot of naval power. So I might see what we can still build. Yeah, we've got room for way more ships. So let's make some three-deckers. Let's get them on the way, so hopefully by the time our manpower is recovered, we will have a goodly supply of three-decker ships. We can combine them all into this massive navy that France won't be able to cope with. Well, I suppose if nothing else, at least it gives me a war to watch. Man, still waiting for manpower. How long this war's gonna go on? No, I've got mercantilism. That's fine. I do want to really pull out of this war as soon as we can. I'm very interested in it. 
I know I'm hoping for Spain to join in one of our wars, but really, they don't seem to have done anything in this one. White piece. Perfect. White piece it is. I'm a little annoyed that Spain have kind of started a war without apparently having any intention of actually fighting it. So, I don't really see why our colonial nation should fight it for them. I know this is the sort of thing we did earlier on as Portugal when we were hiding behind Spain. But I don't think Spain has the same excuse that we had back then. I mean, hey, maybe they'll pull out of the war with France early, but... Honestly, anything that weakens Spain is good. Okay, so I think... I hope we're finally there. We finally reached our... Uh, restored our manpower after the original disastrous war in France. So we're starting to build it up. So we might also be able to make the armies a bit bigger before our second attempt. Because in theory we have room for nearly a hundred more troops. So... Yeah. Might spread them around a bit. Because we are going to make use of mercenaries in a big way. Let's just spin time on and let the manpower recover a bit though. Ooh. Nice. Got another claim down in India. Okay, the state does not need the money. The skill free. Oh, cool! Stability cost modifier. Cheaper and also gives us extra prestige. The only question is do we want the stability cost modifier or are we happy with the yearly prestige bonus? I think I probably am. But when this advisor does go, it's only 43, but if he does go, then we will have a much cheaper plus free advisor. Just going to improve relations with Spain and all the other allies around here and potential allies and also our Indian allies. So we do still need to think about an attack down there. Still want to do this French one first if we can. Right, I'm going to send another spy to France in the hope that destabilize them a little. Might do the same down here. Because we seem to have more diplomats than we really need right now. So why not? Okay, so let's look at these armies. How big can we make them? So Lisboa can take 65, Porto can take 64. So much bigger than they are now. Cool. We have got 28 to 13 and 26, 3, 13. Okay. I'd like to make them identical if I can. So even though we don't have a huge use for horses, I'm going to make one. Way. So we just make two infantry for them and one cavalry for them, and that will make them identical. And then we can start improving things from there. Okay, cool. Got another self-sustaining colony. Truce with Russia has expired, which is fine. Just filling in these areas now. Colonising at our leisure. I 
might start making a decent sized army up here as well, given that we have room for a lot of armed forces. Hmm. Tariffs on coffee, Caribus. Nope, gonna leave it be. Shawnee and Choctaw. I think that's a bit risky. It's probably very cowardly of me. I know the other nations might join in, but then they might not. How about you, though? Hey, is that up there? That is up there. Yeah, I'm going for that one. Go for it. considers his arrival. I might come to regret that at some point. Oop. Hang on. Okay, so we've reached max monarch power in diplomatic. So we should attempt to improve some of our existing areas. So Lisboa was a birthplace of colonialism. How about we improve Porto? Maybe make them the birthplace of somewhere. There we go. And we've got an uprising coming apparently. Independence for Kilwa. We can probably manage that, I would imagine. Might have to move the army down to do it. Might be worth giving them a general, but on the whole we should be able to handle that, so not too worried. Good to have more military tech as well. Want to be ahead of France if possible. Uh, prestige and legitimacy, yes please. And yes, I think I'll take the Defender of the Faith once again. Because it'll allow us to sort these areas out. Even though we probably don't need to anymore. Okay. do it. Not until their allies fall, I don't think. Okay, less unrest. That's good. Might even deal with the kill, I think. Might not. No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like they're still on the way. Never mind. But yeah, it would seem that we need to take these guys out as well, in which case we may as well annex them. General, so we should probably make another one. Okay, that's not good. However, oh no, no, that really isn't good. Okay, fair enough. We're going to need to send some troops down to the other. So it's definitely time to start making some generals. We don't have a military power to make generals, that's really annoying. Looks like our ships are ready though, which is good. Or some of them. Oh no. All of them. There's a lot of cavalry to go there, and two infantry to go there. Keep up 
Oh yeah, the missionaries keep us scoring. Right, so if we join all these together, I'm going to board the ship with how many people can take, and we're going to head down here to cause some trouble. The colony is finished. Okay. So we have another one. Make a state. Make a goal. Just like clockwork. Right, so Africa. I need a general with this army here for when the Kilwan uprising happens. I thought we now need two generals. Ooh. Okay. Cross the opposition or be lenient. Nasty. Right, I really don't want another uprising. So I'm gonna lose some legitimacy. Had enough of that before. We're trying to recover manpower, and while things are going better. Okay, apparently I've done something wrong there. Because our ships do not appear to have moved. Just make sure we're definitely boarded this time. Okay, Fulo don't like as much. Right, it's probably not going to work too well then, is it? I was thinking about maybe vassalizing them, but I don't think it's going to work. Kilwa has insulted us. Not a big issue. I'll just insult them back, I guess. Okay. Salvation Hider, well Hider. Right, okay. I'd almost forgotten about this. <laughs> Let's see if we can take them as well, because I think they should still be incorporated into Portuguese Cascadia. There we go. So war's over. Yep, all part of Portuguese Cascadia, so that makes them a little more powerful for later. All about building up their power. Because I'm pretty certain war with France, not France, war with Spain is going to be inevitable. For some reason we're now getting really bad generals. Which is upsetting after our three star generals before. So we need another general here. Not a bad thing, though. So who is it? Oh, Provence. Okay. So we will revoke the embargo. And I think we should try and make friends, because I don't think they like France very much. So, the rivals. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, let's do France, because we're going to attack them. And they already hate us quite a bit. Because we get some bonuses to prestige and such like if we defeat our rival which we certainly are going to slightly better commander there right so they're ready for the kill one uprising i think this colony's finished as well so i might just make a colony here 
because then we can put our army there and get it a bit closer to wherever the uprising happens. We're a bit more central in the occupied Kilwan lands. So that could be good. Good. Need to split this army because they're taking damage. It's just too many of them in one spot. That's fine. I'm guessing these guys are going to come back over at some point, which is a shame because it doesn't look like this country is doing anything to stop them. So if they could avoid attacking us, they might actually succeed. But not really keen to hand land back. Especially because it'll make Fulo really big, so we won't be able to vassalize them anyway. So there's no point losing. Oh, we've got another merchant. I wonder if that was Portuguese Cascadia. Okay, not going to worry too much about it. Let's just send another one. So we've got Lima. Send them to transfer trade power. Got so many merchants now, I don't really know what to do with them, so I'm kind of just literally sending them off to wherever they suggest and just forwarding trade power, assuming it's doing us some good. We could be more careful about it, but honestly, got plenty of money. Okay, that's just a negative event. I kind of feel like surely they're going to end up fighting this army. But I don't want to move all the troops out and then just find that they come back. Okay, merchants. Support them anyway, definitely support them anyway. Merchants are everything. Uh, we should do so. Oh, blooming heck. Don't want to lose army tradition because it makes our generals worse. Okay. Right, we didn't have to go too far to get here, and I can't see any sign of the uprising, so we could be standing here forever, waiting for them. So I'm just going to move out. So we're actually at the point now where we need to start building up the army. brought it down. So let's see so what we're doing. Not our problem. Cree separatists. I expect a lot of those to deal with those. I'm going to gather all the ships. Increase the power of these troops. So let's go with four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that'll be five new cannons in each army. Here's the plan. Let's make sure there are no surprises. Nope, we've just got the kill one separatist to deal with. At the end of the day the worst that will happen with the Kree is that they're back where they started and we just got a one province nation to deal with again. So 
not a big deal. Okay, so four into one, four into the other. Conversions. Get the prestige blessing, seeing as that's run out. Could always use prestige. Really need villagers if so on again as well. As soon as that runs out. Okay, so we're going to have an army of 49. Still plenty of room for more troops. So I'm just going to keep building them up. So I'm going to make some infantry now. Kind of feel like infantry are always the backbone of the army. But it's good to have a lot of guns as well at this stage. Don't really need the cavalry anymore. I think we can do one more pass. Okay, so I think that's another 40 troops in total. So, looking good. Looks like I've managed to pick up a trade ship for some reason. But still, not bad. Still nowhere near either of the limits. Alright, so we've lost our philosopher, so now we should get this cheap stability cost modifier. With that in mind, let's boost our stability. Still isn't stopping the rebellion. And might just make another trade fleet. And uh, no, leave it be. A diplomat in France has been caught. So we need to act now. So we can support some rebels or we can sabotage reputation. I was good, but we do have a lot of money, so let's go with support rebels. Oh, there aren't any. Hmm. They must be doing well, fine. Sabotage reputation, then. Might make people more willing to join us in the fight against them. Going to improve relations with Provence. Try and make them friendly. Keep improving relations with all the other people around France. Good grief. Malwa. Against Delhi? Aren't Delhi also our allies? Oh no, Bengal is our allies. Where is Delhi? Great, can't even see them. Still, I mean, at worst, we're probably going to lose one piece of land, so fair enough. I can accept that. Don't like it, but I can accept it. Oh, they're still being colonised. Must be this one that's finished. Yep. So I should probably have done that one next. Never mind. Never mind getting there. So we still haven't managed to launch the attack on France.
but we're getting very close. Just we've got room to improve our army so much, I'm just sort of thinking. <laughs> Seems a shame not to, really. Especially after the last time we went so badly. It'll probably turn out to be an absolute walkover now after all this. Been preparing and preparing, and we'll discover that. Uh, Okay, lose even more legitimacy. Not liking that. Not liking that at all. And gaining prestige. Plenty of prestige then. So that's something. We have a conversion while we're defender of the faith. Okay, so we've actually made our armies too big now. Might be getting to the point where it's time to actually attack. Especially if we also bolster them with some mercenaries. Oh, Great Britain's actually at war with France at the moment. Maybe. Here we All right, fair enough. Well, that sounds good at least. Apparently we can attack them with Imperialism. That's interesting. Apparently Venice will join in, which is annoying. But nobody else will. Who will join in with us? The Commonwealth and Austria, not Spain, which is annoying. Because they're in a ton of debt. Would the Commonwealth and Austria be enough? Uh, stop them. To be fair, probably yes, especially if we get some good mercenaries. So how much can we afford? 86 per month. Looks like are the most expensive ones near the top. I don't know. Mind you, they're Mongol mercenaries. I just wonder if we can get something with a really good general. It's a free Swiss Guard. Or at least with a general. So they could act independently, effectively. Like we could afford both of these, I think. Let's try it. Let's try it. So we'll get the free Swiss guard. Okay. So that's two mercenary companies which will appear and bolster our armies. So I suppose the only other question is whether there are any other French areas that we could do with having an army in, but I don't think there are. I think um, they're all in the colonies, basically. Looks like Great Britain's stomping on them anyway. So we should have quite an advantage, it's just how much of them is going to be left. Yeah, I think we're in a good position. So I'm going to leave it there. We will do the actual war on France next time. I'll be wondering where my general's gone. Oh no, he's still down there waiting for the kill one uprising, isn't he? I completely forgot that was still meant to be coming, although it doesn't appear to be in any kind of hurry. Military Tech 25, we have Military Tech 25. I think we can do it. Even if Spain is going to be a pain and not join in. Why do Naples? We don't actually hate France anymore, do they? Who does hate France, apart from Great Britain? Who we're probably going to attack next. Basically all the people we already have. So... 
fair enough, I suppose. Let's not worry about it. Commonwealth and Austria will have to do. But yeah, we will leave that for next time as the mercenary armies are just building. Who's this? Yeah. In theory, there's someone who already has a mission. Oh, we're sitting at port because there's a war. Oh, well, forget that, get going. I'm not worried about that anymore. It'd be a good way of replacing ships. Right, cool. Give you a mission somewhere or other. Yeah, Brazil. It's fine. Cool. Right. Gonna stop there. We're just about ready to launch the attack. Probably going to have to ignore this Kilwin uprising, unfortunately. Or at least take the general away. So I'm gonna hope the army can cope without a general or we'll just borrow them temporarily. Oh actually, do we have room for a third general? We do. We actually do. Bit of a better one as well. So if we get rid of you, give you that one, who looks to be better, and then we can give the kill one colony army the less good one, so at least they're prepared a bit. Hang on. Okay. So hopefully that should be enough to take France down. It doesn't hurt that they're currently fighting Great Britain by the look of it, so they should be a bit weaker. And we will just... yeah? launch a war on them next time so sorry that went on a bit long mostly just minor wars and things and building manpower preparing to take on France once again but I'm hoping it'll be decisive this time and we will uh, finally conquer these areas assuming their war will finish at some point part way through of course we could always hold on a bit longer waiting for the war to finish but we'll see see how we feel next time but I will leave it there for now, so thank you for watching.